to my channel. It has been way too long since I have filmed a video for you all and I know I've been missing it so I'm sure you all have been really missing out on this also. I definitely want to get into a routine of filming more videos for you all so fingers crossed that that will actually start to happen but I have been promising you all a Q&A video since like the beginning of this year and you all sent in some really great questions and I'm just now getting around to filming a video but I'm so excited to answer all the great questions that y'all sent me. So I've actually decided to break this Q&A up into three different sections. So the first one's just going to kind of be some general questions y'all asked about me, things I like, all of that great stuff. And then I'm going to do a video on beauty and fashion because y'all asked some really great questions about those things. And then I'm also going to do a video about blogging, social media, and kind of the whole business side um, of what I do as a blogger and I'm really excited about that video also. So if you have questions that you want to get answered for that one, send them my way. But today we're going to go ahead and get started on a Q&A about yours truly. So let's get started. So I think one of the most popular questions that I always get asked for Q&As are what are some of your favorite books, movies, music, all of that great stuff. And there's so many, but I tried to narrow it down. So book-wise, um, I picked a few, even though there's so many books I've read, so many books that I love. But if I had to pick a few, I'd probably say The Book Thief. I love it. Um, Tilt a Whirl by Andy Wilson is amazing, and I know I always mention that book. Fangirl um, by Rainbow Rowell, and that one's really great also. And then Lovely Bones. Um, I read that last semester and it is an amazing and beautiful and like heart-wrenching book, but it's so good. Um, when I was growing up, I read this book series called Millie Key, and it was by the Life of Faith series, so if you're familiar with the Elsie Dinsmore books, these books were kind of associated with those, and that series was amazing. And then there's also a trilogy series, it's three books, and um, they're called the Boston Jane series, and those are so good because they deal with adventure and um, travel and like the 1800s, and it's so great. I love those books. All right, um, when it comes to movies, I have seen so many movies. Um, I actually recently took like this quiz online where it's what's called like 444 girly movies and then you could go through and like check which ones you've seen and I've seen like 214 of those 444 and that's not even all the movies that I've seen so I've seen a lot but if I had to pick a movie that was my favorite and something that you absolutely have to see um, I would have to say Abduction Club, so if my bestie's watching this, she totally knows what I'm talking about. It is a period drama. It is amazing and hilarious. Basically, it's about this group of guys who go and abduct women to become their wives, and I know that sounds weird, but go look it up because it is literally the best movie ever. I've seen it so many times, and it's just amazing. Um, but also... I love Pride and Prejudice. I've seen Pride and Prejudice so many times, so many different versions. Um, but the Pride and Prejudice 2005 version with Keira Knightley probably is another one of my favorite movies because I love the music associated with the story and how they portrayed that movie. Even though it doesn't really follow the book, I still love that movie so much and I could watch it every single day. And then I also really like Letters to Juliet. It is so amazing, especially that quote in the movie about like what and if. So good. Um, so those are my favorite movies. And then when it comes to music, I don't listen to music as much as I wish that I did. And when I do, it's so broad in what I like. But I definitely like any music um, from like the 1940s to 1960s, all of that swing, retro type music. I love it so much. Um, I feel like that music resonates with me the most. I also really love Tori Kelly and all of her music. It's so great. And the messages of her songs are like themes for my life. And then I also like Megan Trainer because her songs are so much fun. And then I also kind of really love soundtracks um, for movies. So whether that's an inter instrumental soundtrack or just songs that are featured in movies, I really like those also. 
All right, what is your favorite Bible verse and why? I have a lot of favorite Bible verses, but ever since I was little, I've always loved Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, um, which is trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways acknowledge Him and He will make your path straight. And I just really love that verse because it talks about trusting in God and trusting in Him and His plan in life is sometimes a little scary and sometimes a little hard. Um, but if we trust in Him with all our heart um, and don't rely on ourselves and what we think we know, but more rely on God and His ultimate wisdom for our lives, everything just becomes clear and He really does make our path straight and points us in the direction we should go or just diminishes those fears and their, or those uncertainties. And so I love that verse. All right. What lessons has God taught you in the last year? I really love this question because God has been doing so much in my life, especially as a college student who lived on campus. So in answering that question, I would say that some lessons that God has taught me in the last year are to take opportunities that are handed to me. Um, any opportunity that God places in front of me, whether it's to just do something maybe outside of my comfort zone, to talk to someone about my faith, or to just do something nice for a complete stranger, just to take those opportunities, even if they scare me, and don't run away from them. And in that, to do the hard things, and know um, that God will give you the courage to do it, because sometimes we're so worried, and I know me, I'm always so worried about um, not being able to do something or scared uh, or um, it's just so out of my comfort zone for me but God always gives me the courage when I actually um, stand up and have the boldness to do something that I typically wouldn't and the results are just amazing so that's what I would say some lessons I've learned. Alright, what are you studying at college and what do you plan to do with that? So I have one more semester left of college, I can't believe that kind of crazy. So I'm graduating in December. Um, my major is family and consumer science with a minor in education. So my major is kind of like a home ec degree. It's super fun. And since my minor is in education, I definitely hope to become a teacher one day. So um, that's what I plan to do with my major. All right, this question was very interesting and I really love it. So it said, what book world would you want to live in? There's so many different book worlds. Um, I think if I had to pick maybe two, um, Narnia would be one of them because the Narnia book world would just be amazing and beautiful and so cool. Um, but I think I would also maybe have to pick a book world. Um, I mentioned the Boston Jane series and I think if another book world I would pick it would probably be that one just because it deals with like adventure and um, traveling to America and just settling that and being a settler and just dealing with all things that come. Um, I've always been intrigued by that time in history so possibly probably that book world. Alright, what is your favorite city? Um, so I've definitely done a lot of traveling in my day um, but a few years ago we traveled to Boston one summer and that was amazing so for now I would say that my favorite city is Boston but I'm sure one day that might change as I get to travel to other places um, so we'll see what the next few years has in store all right favorite time of day definitely the morning um, sometimes it's a little hard to wake up early, but I definitely prefer the morning just because it's so beautiful with like the sun coming through the window and waking up to hear the birds singing. It's such a great time of day. Um, plus the morning also brings like quiet, your quiet time and spending time in the word and a cup of coffee. So it's pretty great. <laughs> All right. Do you like Jane Austen? This question is awesome because I'm obsessed with Jane Austen. Um, I love her books. I haven't read all of them um, just because there are some that I watched like all of the movies before I even attempted the book and so if I tend to know a storyline really well the book doesn't interest me as much but 
I love Jane Austen. I love her writing. I love her characters. I love all the stories that she creates. I have seen every different version of Pride and Prejudice that there is, and there are so many different ones. And I'm planning to do a blog post on all the different Jane Austen movies because, guys, there's like 30 different movies that are inspired or based on a Jane Austen book. It's pretty crazy, but they're all awesome. Um, so yeah, I love Jane Austen. Um, any books like inspired by her book, so like diaries of different characters. There's so many of those kind of books. Um, there's a lot of web series based off of like Pride and Prejudice and Emma, and they're some of my favorite things ever. So I do love Jane Austen. All right, favorite movie or vintage movie. So since I already did some of my favorite movies, I'm gonna go with my favorite vintage movie. Um, I haven't seen like a ton of old movies. Um, I've seen some popular ones. So if I had to pick some, I think maybe Audrey Hepburn's Roman Holiday. I really did like that movie. Um, but honestly, when it comes to old movies, I've seen a lot of old westerns. My grandfather loves old western movies, and so I kind of grew up watching all of those. I've seen a ton of John Wayne's. Um, so when it comes to those type of movies, I have a lot of favorites. And probably out of like John Wayne movies, I really love Flying Tigers, so that one's probably one of my favorite vintage time movies. Alright, do you play an instrument? Um, no. Not currently. I used to play the flute, and I played the flute for about three years. But I don't currently play an instrument. Alright, and this is the last question. So if you could live in any era not for fashion, what would it be and why? That's a really great question because typically I pick eras based on their fashion. Um, but I think you've seen this recurring theme of like early American history, me liking those type of books, that being the type of book world I would want to live in. So if I could live in any era not for fashion, I would probably pick um, the very early 1800s in like American history. Um, with like expansion across eastern expansion and just like wagon trains and pioneers and settlers and all that great stuff so that would probably be the era that i would pick all right next question so someone asked what is an obscure fact about you i think that's a really awesome question i had to think about it for a while um so I, I'll give you two answers. <laughs> so, the first obscure thing about me or something that not a lot of people would probably know is that I used to be like a theater person, um, but not theater person as in like how I acted, but as in I used to be in a lot of plays growing up. So we would put on plays probably about once or twice a year at a friend's house. They had this huge back porch and we would put on plays for all the other homeschoolers in our area and I was probably in about six or seven plays and then I moved on to do backstage and costumes and props and then I also helped um, direct a play also so there's a fun fact for you so that's probably why I actually love public speaking because of all those plays. Oh. Another obscure fact to go along with that is that I had to play a guy once in a play and I had to wear a beard and everything and it was interesting, very interesting. So yeah. Um, second obscure-ish type fact is that um, I actually drive a standard car so it's like stick shift. So that was interesting trying to learn how to drive. Um, but it's pretty cool now and I love it so yeah two obscure facts. There you go. So that is it guys for all of the great questions they all asked, but make sure to stay tuned for the other two videos that will be coming your way. I'm super excited about them and I can't wait to share them, but make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel so you can stay updated on any new videos that come out, which will hopefully be a lot in the future. And thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye.